as Roble is marching up the field waiting for his teammates. And right there, here's a great shot opportunity coming, but Nashambin is there to save it. And now the counterattack is coming for Duquesne. Far side, he goes all the way over to Hopfer. Hopfer corrals it, gets it on the carpet nicely. He stops trying to find Dragasich in the middle. He does. Will Dragasich take this? He does. And that's a nice diving effort. But then Mocha, wide open, will just sail it over the crossbar. We now Harding inside to Hopfer. Ooh, and that just gets broken up. And Eklund will send this one forward. Somehow that trails in. Is there an offside call? It is not called. So Eklund somehow getting that ball through all those bodies. And it seems like it just rolls in without even DeShirt realizing. That was such a choppy goal, but you got to take it if you're Duquesne. He one nothing lead. Definitely moving as Pereira takes this corner. Oh, that's a nice ball inside. Is that in? And Najibin says he picked it up. And they're going to call to save. So Najibin quickly boots this one forward. It's a nice little play forming for the Dukes. As Harding is going to get this one in the middle. Dragas is trying to get there and just a little wide right. Pereira, Pereira with quick cross inside. Najibin diving, trying to get this one out of play as that's going to be a chippy goal. And Kabilos puts this one Saint inside Donovan's the net. Goal scored by number 13, David as I just, Kubilos. As I just said, Nick, for all the... Four, and Hopper six. sprints up this time, giving it over to Eklund. Eklund with his shot inside, and what a beautiful play. Hopper realizes that the defense was not there and did not know what he was doing. Runs up, gets the quick pass out to Eklund, and just a beautiful outside shot to put the Dukes up 2-1. His second of the day. Second of the game, Assistant second of the day, third straight goal Maxine that he scored for the Dukes. Upper. And Eklund is really. Janssen gets it forward. This one comes out of the box, but still with Janssen, another pass inside. Ooh, can it go? And it will. This one goes for Angel. Somehow, all of the Bonnie's players were pressed up in the middle of the box, and there was just two Dukes back there, one of them being Angel. He gets it on the carpet and gets it past the shirt. Is it? And that ball was booted there, but nice job by Angel. Just making sure that he was able to regain possession of the ball. I could have slipped away from him. Easy, could have slipped away from him fast. But his quick reel, feel like he, I feel like he would have gone a good net, yeah. Sabari with a shot inside, and Sabari will score. Almost using all of the same biometry defenders as a screen. Just getting through and confusing the shirt. We'll go far right, and that will be a second goal of the season. And the fourth on the day for Duquesne. I mean, to the Bonnies, they just keep, they just keep letting the Dukes on. Again, one of its players open. And right, Duquesne is the lack of pressing up on the box. I get that they want to try to block as many as possible as that one sails wide right. They want to block as many as possible, right, and get in the way of the shooters. But all of these goals from Duquesne, the two from Eklund and right there from Zabari, are all right on the box line. Or, or That's a great ball to just hit it off to the top of the head of Hopper. Duquesne. Looks like Hopper didn't even have to move. Drexus almost looked like he was targeting his head as it just rolls off the backside of his head into the back of the net. Third goal of the season for number 10. The third Maxie goal of the season for number 10, Maxi Hopper. And just throughout the whole entire Assistant season, Nick, Maxi Hopper using the speed as we'll take a look at the replay. Yeah, he's just like, just a Snowden and Dobb with the pressure. Yeah, and then now just Kasha coming off the backside and Kasha wants that one back. Muck put it hands up like Kasha, come on. In the box. Headed down, Noshman's able to hold on. Something to think about, Nick, is just the idea that for the Dukes. They'll send it out to Pereira. Nice ball inside to Akwazoku, and that's an easy catch by Noshman. They hit the post twice. This could have easily been a 5-3 game. Eight, oh, is that one hits the post somehow? Six, keeping it in play. Five, but St. Bonaventure four, had a lot of good opportunities as well. It's just Duquesne two, just played the better one. offense. They played the better defense and overall just a better game. They did. I mean, Nick, we talk about how even though they lost 5-1 to 5-1 now, just the idea that 